a trained basketball eye could spot Milwaukee's strategy from a mile away, but in real time, on March 13 it was understandable for confused fans to wonder what exactly the Bucks were doing on defense against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Bucks allowed shot after shot, often open and from three-point range, to forward Julius Randle and guards Ian Clark and Frank Jackson. Like clockwork, when Randall would pick for a guard at the top of the key, his defender would sag deep into the paint, forcing a pass and practically daring the big man to shoot a three. If Clark or Jackson kept the ball, their defenders would do the same. In total, those three Pelicans shot three of 22 from deep. It's a peculiar strategy in today's NBA, where three-pointers are a pivotal component of any efficient, high-scoring offense. Against New Orleans, Milwaukee sat back as 107 shots, including a Pelicans franchise record 47 three-pointers, rained down. New Orleans made just 10 of those threes and 46 shots in total. On the flip side, Milwaukee made 48 of 97 shots in a 130-113 win. And this strategy wasn't a one-off. Milwaukee is leading the league by turning the deep ball obsession on its head. The best defense in the NBA allows roughly the most made three-pointers and three-point attempts per game. The Bucks, 51-17, lead the NBA with a 104.6 defensive rating, all stats as a Friday, which conveys points scored per 100 possessions. Traditional basketball theory assumes that top defenses allow fewer three-pointers. And in today's NBA, where sharp shooting Golden State has won three of the last four NBA Finals, most teams try to limit to the shot. Not Milwaukee. As evidenced by the 47 threes checked by New Orleans, the Bucks allow 35.1 three-point attempts most in the league, and 12.5 makes second most behind Minnesota's 12.6 per game. For context, Milwaukee allowed just 27 such shots and 10 makes per game in 2017-18, when they finished 7th in the Eastern Conference. Yet the Bucks have dominated the East this season and look like the most capable finals contender outside Golden State, that's what we are relying on, contested three-point shots. Bucks forward Chris Middleton told reporters after beating New Orleans. Get a stop and after that just push the pace. Push the ball and play with pace and energy, as Middleton points out, the Bucks are challenging all those threes. Allowing NBA sharpshooters to reign unchecked would be a fool's strategy. But it matters who's shooting those shots. If Milwaukee meets Golden State in the finals, don't expect Klay Thompson and Steph Curry to go unchecked, that's where superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo's 7-foot-3 wingspan comes in handy. Rather, the Bucks will likely be happy to let DeMarcus Cousins, Draymond Green and Jonas Jerebko shoot their shot. The strategy worked in two regular season contests, with Jerebko shooting as many or more threes 13 than Curry, Thompson and Kevin Durant. You never want to let a good shooting team shoot you out of a game, says David Griffin, the former Cleveland general manager turned Turner Sports and NBA on TNT analyst. But it's about contesting those threes and limiting the easy twos. Milwaukee has it figured out, need a visual example? Check out the way Bucks center Brooke Lopez, no. Levin in white, defends a Memphis pick and roll here, by dropping into the lane, Lopez allows his teammate Eric Bledsoe, no. Six, to stay close enough to defend a potential Mike Conley three-pointer. When Conley passes to Mark Gasol, the worst shooter of the Memphis duo, Lopez lets him fire away. By sagging off Gasol, Lopez also eliminates Conley's potential to attack the basket. That's the key. The Bucks have made a conscious choice to take away easy two-point field goals while encouraging outside shots from less dangerous players. So far this season, the Bucks allow the fewest shots within five feet of the basket, 27.7, per game. All of this is highly ironic. Lopez is one of Milwaukee's best outside shooters, while potential league MVP Anadokounmpo makes fewer than one three-pointer per game. If the Bucks played themselves every night, they'd probably fare much worse.